The people of Abialatu community in Ikubaoka local government area of Edo State have called on the state government to come to their heads. There has been a spill from NPDC in the area for the past five days. The community requested an appeal to the state government to engage NPDC for relief material and cleansing of the river as this has been their source of livelihood. <laughs> MPDC ke pulo pulo me pu e mini me me wa ba bini pare bo ai wa bini pare bo ai ke mi e di papa wa di pare fo ai mo ka wa ba ba mini e wa 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 se mi se bro do ka do mini do mini abo do mini ke mi wa ye re fo ai se se bo wa ba ye wa ba bini pare bo ga o government se se bo wa ba ye standing before you is joe oyanenea betty beyong uh this is uh, Abiala two community, Kokodiagbene, under Ikobahoka local government, Edo State. In this community, presently there is a spillage. The this oil, crude oil, split in the river. So presently we are suffering. The Abiala two community is suffering. The women that are fishing in the river. Presently, they are experiencing this crude oil. The, the, the way it's, the river is bring the water is flowing. The crude oil is also coming out. And they can't, they can no longer walk on the river. Most of them are fishing. So the fishing materials are bad. This crude oil has actually damaged a lot of things in this river. The water, the, the women, the community people, people that are living in the community, they are drinking this same water. They drink it, they bathe in the same water, they do a lot of things in the river. The men, the women, they are all suffering. Presently, some of them have, they have fallen into sickness. They are sick. Most of them have been rushed into hus to, uh, to the hospital. So we need... We want the company, which is MPDC, to come to our head. They, to, they should come and rescue us. We can't see water to drink. We are suffering. A lot of us are suffering. Our children can no longer bathe in the water, especially the ones that are going to school. So because of the contamination, the, the children, they can no longer bathe. So most of them are at home. Some of them are falling into sickness. So please, we want the government to come to our head. We want the company, which is MPDC. We are crying right now. The women are crying. They can't go to their fishing camps anymore. They can't, the, the materials are damaged already. So mo most of them, they can't go to the bush. They can't go to the river. Even drive, pulling on top of the, the river alone is a problem. Immediately, the water splash on their body, they begin to have different kind of skin, uh, skin, skin mm -hmm. rashes, skin disease on their body. So a lot of them are crying. Most of them can't even go out again. As at the time of this report, all efforts to reach personnel of the NPDC was all available. However, the community requested again for cleansing of the river medical treatment for children and women, also provision of possible water to drink as the waters in the riverine is being contaminated by the spill from the oil pipeline of the NPDC. I am Comrade Budu Polasan. Community here outside is Abiyalatu community, Abiyalatu Kogodagbon community. Well, I'm here, I'm born, I'm brought up here. I think 
have never experienced what I'm experiencing now in terms of water pollution. What polluted the water? There was a, a spillage. Uh, we heard that MPDC that is operating in this area close to cocoa houses. We don't know what happened to it, but we saw the water polluted. And then all the aquatic system, aquatic system has been destroyed by the pollution. And we are suffering. <clears throat> we have no water to drink. We cannot go to the water to take our bath. We have no borehole. We have no bedroom of our own. We go to the water, the river to fetch water, or we dive into the water and bath. And now we can't do all these things since five days ago. Now we are suffering. We seek the assistance of the government, the local, the local government and state government, even the federal government to come to our aid to assist us. Uh, I am I'm named by Richard Mori, and I am in this community, Abiala too. Okay, tell us what is happening in this very community. Presently, what is happening is that just about four days in Taba, we have experienced the pollution of uh, water that the pipeline boss and uh, we are suffering of drinking water. The Abiala too came in. Okay, Okay, I'm Young Tiemo, one of the elders in this community, Habela 2 community. I am born and brought up from this community. Okay, you mean the name of this community is Abiala too. Is that what you are telling us? That is it. All right. Thank you very much. Sir. The present situation on the ground, what is it take? Uh, for the <clears throat> past four days, we experienced something in this our river. Suddenly we saw this oil floating from the cocoa area to this area. That is the side of cocoa down to this area. But what, what, what we experienced is that they told us that there was one pipe, something that burst from that area because we did not walk from that area. But what we experienced is that the oil flowed to our area and everywhere was pulled up, polluted. So crude oil. People, our children, our wives, our mothers, they couldn't go to the river again. So what we experience is that this thing is disturbing us. So we need the federal government, uh, we need the government to help us. We are from Ukoba, Oka, local government area. So we need the government to help us.